Hello everyone, Mav Hunter here, out in the Arizona desert doing a little mule deer scouting. It's early March and it's an overcast day, so during my break I thought I'd take this time and show you my setup, my camping setup for my Nissan Xterra. A lot of times when I go on longer trips of more than five days, I will set my big camp, my canvas tent, my utility trailer with all my gear, so I can be comfortable for up to two or three weeks. But on these short excursion trips of two to three days, a lot of times I will just sleep in the Xterra. And in order to do that, I had to build a sleeping platform and an organization unit for storage for all my gear. But the main setup is that it allows me to be mobile so I can move from spot to spot to spot instead of setting up a tent and then having to drive 10, 12, 15 miles back and forth every day. So with that being said, let's get into the tour. This is a Rolla cargo carrier. I'm going to unhook, unlatch this. This just swings out of the way, but it holds extra gear, and it holds this cooler. And this cooler has no ice, no perishable food. It just has dry, dry goods, dry food. Here I added a little trash bag, so I can I put a, a garbage bag liner inside of it where I put all my trash. And at the end of the trip, I stop at a refuse center or garbage dump and get rid of this trash. And then the bag comes off the tire and goes goes back into the truck. So I don't drive on the highway with this bag on. And underneath here I have uh, two gallons of fresh water. I have another two and a half gallons of fuel, gasoline. I have five gallons of water right here in this booth tub. Even though I'm only out here for three, four days, you can never have enough water in the desert. I'm going to swing out the tire. You can see how dusty it is. Like I say, I've been out here for several days. And we open up the back. I built a sleeping platform. This is where I sleep right here. I got storage underneath. A lot of times this little tray table comes off the tire. I'm going to make myself some hot coffee here this morning a little bit later. When I first built this, I built it with wood shelves that slide in and out on those white plastic drawer slides, those acrylic drawer slides. I found that the plywood, three quarter inch, four wood, takes up a lot of my interior space. And also the wood weighs quite a bit. Underneath, so I have my storage. This area fits two of these plastic storage bins. And I usually keep my kitchen and my camping supplies in these bins. I have another slide out on this side where I can use to securely store gear. Or this has uh, some little more kitchen cleanup wash up station. This gives me 76 inches of clear space to lay down and get comfortable and sleep. If I move the front uh, passenger seat forward, I get 82 inches. So there's plenty of room in there for me to sleep. Enough headroom that it's not too claustrophobic for me. So like I say, for a couple nights, it's okay. This cooler is advertised, and I also have a Yeti cooler as well. And they both advertise that they hold ice for three to five days. Well, they hold ice for two days. And the third day, you got half ice, half water. And then by the fourth and or fifth day, all you have is a bag of ice water. So uh, this fridge has been a real good investment for me. It allows me to stay out here and not have to drive the town 30 miles away just to get ice every couple days if I'm on an extended trip. So it's very convenient. 12 volt ice co refrigerator and this refrigerator to coin the term has really been a game changer out here in the desert or any of my
camping, fishing, hunting trips. It takes an, uh, this is where I keep my perishable food, food that needs to be kept cold, like my milk, my cheese, some sliced ham from home, any food that's perishable that needs to be chilled, I keep here in the refrigerator. This 12 volt refrigerator, it can run off the truck's battery, but I don't do that because it'll put quite a drain on a vehicle's battery. This takes about one amp per hour to run. And when I talk about run time, the refrigerator does not run constantly. The refrigerator only runs when it needs to cool down to the preset temperature. Right now I have it set at 34 degrees and I have the high set at 37 degrees. So when the, when the temperature, interior temperature goes past 37 degrees, the refrigerator will come on and cool down and when it hits 34 degrees, it'll shut off. So the refrigerator doesn't run constantly. Well, it just switched on. And it's pretty quiet. What I power this with is I have a Blue Eddy 2000 watt solar generator that's behind the passenger seat. That solar generator 2000 watts will run this refrigerator for a full four days without having to be recharged. If I'm out for longer, I can charge the solar generator using solar. The generator has a built-in converter so the only thing I had to do was buy a solar panel. I have the solar panel which is stored not on top of the bins, but on top of drawer slides, so it's fully supported. And this is my 100 watt solar pot panel. Excuse the dust, but uh, this panel, when I place it in the direct sunshine, or on the roof of the Xterra, and then I run the cord down and hook it into the solar generator, it'll charge that generator at an average of 80 to 88 watts per hour. So it's like continually topping off the generator when the refrigerator is running down. But this solar panel will keep that solar generator charged fully I've been out here for 10, 12 day trips, and like I say, the solar generator has never dipped below 80% of power. I've got a little wire coated closet made shelf right here and I cut down to put miscellaneous gear. I got all kinds of little cubby holes. I have my axe and my emergency handsaw stored on the side. Over here you can see I've got extra propane tanks that are stored up along the side. And that's one of the reasons I removed the drawers was to get more nook and cranny for various miscellaneous items. So there you have it. There's the interior sleeping platform, storage unit setup, and mostly my refrigerator, which I love, in the back end of my Nissan Xterra. If you like this video, please clip, click the thumbs up icon, and to stay tuned for new video releases, click the red subscribe button. Special thanks to all those who subscribe to my channel. Take care, everyone.